ever worry about a rogue switch taken over as the root bridge in your network? That's where root guard comes in. Root guard is a spanning tree protocol feature that makes sure some ports can never become root ports. If a downstream switch sends a superior BPDU trying to claim the root status, the port goes into root inconsistent state. In this example topology, we have switch one as the root bridge and we have switch two and switch three with the root ports on ethernet 00 connecting to that root bridge. We place root guard on ports that are facing downstream switches that should never become root. For example, Ethernet 00 and 01 on switch 1. So if switch 2 or switch 3 try to send a superior or a better BPDU to switch 1 trying to claim the root bridge status, those ports on switch 1 with the root guard feature enabled will go into a root inconsistent state. So root guard will block these ports keeping switch 1 as the root bridge. So on switch 1 interface ethernet 00 the command is spanning tree guard root and it will display this message on the console root guard enabled on port ethernet 00. If we want switch 2 to send a superior BPDU we're going to run the command spanning tree for VLAN 1 root primary and it will try to become the root bridge. And if we go back to switch one, we can see this console message, the spanning tree root guard block received a superior BPDU from switch two root guard blocking port Ethernet 00 on VLAN one. And if we run the command show spanning tree for VLAN one, we can see Ethernet 00 and 01 are now in the blocking state and it says root inconsistent. So remember to enhance your spanning tree protocol security with root guard. Follow for more quick networking lessons and tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.